Hello, my name is Preston Kramer and I'm doing a documentary on the dairy industry. What is your personal opinion of the dairy industry? Um, I think that it's good that we have dairy products. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I think that it's important that we continue to grow the industry, I guess. Wait, I'm in a Walmart parking lot right now and I'm going to be conducting some interviews to get to the nitty gritty on what this is. What is dairy? Do you eat dairy, consume dairy in your mouth with your lips? Well, stay tuned, my friends. What would you say is your personal view toward dairy? Uh, well, I consume it regularly, like most Americans. I wouldn't say I have any uh, particular fondness or dislike of it. You know, it's just sort of something that's there. It's not really something I think about too much. Would you ever be willing to do a dairy alternative, like uh, almond milk or something, or is that just not your thing? Um, almond milk's pretty good. Soy milk's fine. It's I don't really uh, care all that much. It's you know, it's all the same to me. I just got kicked out of Walmart. Apparently, you're not supposed to film there, but I got one interview. I got an interview, so let's try another place. Restaurants. Looking. Okay. Preston, here's what I found. Bass? Okay, no. Restaurants open near me. I found 15 restaurants. Tap the one you're looking for. They're all closed. I love Siri. Okay. I hope they have two stars. They've got to let me film there. We shall go to IHOP and we shall get more interviews for this documentary. Thank you very much for, for viewing this documentary and yes. What is your personal opinion on dairy, just dairy products in general? Dairy products in general. Yes. Um, I'm a little bit lactose intolerant, so I don't have really have an opinion on it. Um, I just drink uh, skim milk or the things that have lactose free and stuff like that. But I don't don't know really. I try to stay away from as much dairy as I can. Mm -hmm. That has you know. If you had to have dairy, would you choose ethically raised cows and non-ethically raised cows? Would you choose ethically raised cows? Mm, I per personally don't really have a preference with that mm -hmm. and stuff like that, so yeah, I wouldn't know. Let's go to Del Taco next and see if they are open. Yeah, I think only the drive through is open, but we can interview in the drive through I'm currently at Del Taco, and I'm about to go through the drive through <laughs> Don't laugh! Yes? What you going to answer? Okay. I'm sorry about that. Hey, no worries. I will come to the window to do an uh, interview. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I got them. Hello? Please? Okay. If you talk really loudly, okay, perfect. Your personal opinion of dairy? Like I eat cheese? Yeah, or just yeah. any anything with milk or like, yeah. just what what do you think about it? Just any, it could be anything. I like it. You like it? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever tried almond milk? Yeah. Yes. What do you what do you think about almond milk? I like almond milk. Yes. Okay. Perfect. What is your favorite dairy product? If you had to choose one single dairy product? Probably cheese or ice cream. Cheese. What is your favorite kind of cheese? Cheddar. birth, all newborn calves are taken away from their mothers. Drink this. It's working! Keep drinking! Are then force-fed milk.
milk from other cows. Their own mother's milk will be turned into daisy cottage cheese and sour cream. Because the better you sleep, the more you dream. The proteins in milk help you sleep better at night. As early as their fifth day, they're loaded onto trucks and sent to slaughter. Well, I happen to know that milk helps build strong bones, so drink up. Calves are forced up the slaughter chute and into the restraint rollers before being killed. <laughs> Got milk. I float down their fate is the result of demand for their mother's milk. I'm not here. This isn't happening. 